Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. You've probably seen them, colorful painted quilt squares on the sides of barns and other buildings throughout many rural counties across North Carolina. However, in Yancey and Mitchell counties, you'll find the highest concentration of the quilt squares in the country thanks to the efforts of the nonprofit Quilt Trails of Western North Carolina based in Burnsville. It's really kind of like an Easter egg hunt. And it's fun to read the maps. It's fun to go out on these mountain roads and find your way around. We have tour guides that have the stories in them. So if you pick up a map and a tour guide, then you can find the blocks and read the stories behind all the blocks. You can get those maps and guides at the gift shop in Burnsville. Quilt Trails of Western North Carolina is a nonprofit corporation that was formed to put painted quilt blocks on barns and buildings in Mitchell and Yancey counties. Every quilt that we put up tells a story. When you apply for your block, you tell us what size of block that you want, and then we ask you to tell us a little bit of your story, either about your building or your land or your family. And we will use that information to then help you find just the right block to trigger your story. I was intrigued by the possibilities of it. I liked the idea of getting great big quilts up on the barns and buildings. A grant from Handmade in America through the Tow River Arts Council provided the initial funding. Charged with putting up eight blocks their first year, Barbara and her volunteers put up 33 quilt blocks. Since then, the project has grown one quilt block and one story at a time. And today... We have the highest concentration of quilt blocks anywhere in the country. Nine different trails spread over Yancey and Mitchell counties offer a variety of sightseeing opportunities. With over 30-some quilt blocks in Burnsville alone, it may take you a while just to get through town. But don't leave before checking out the world's first vertical sundial. And don't worry, it comes with instructions. Innovative works like the sundial block and others, along with the stories behind them, are what make the quilt trails of western North Carolina popular with tourists and the locals alike. Part of the success has been pulling students, teachers, businesses, and others in the community to engage in the project. The math teachers uh, and the history teachers, the English teachers, and the art teachers are also all using the project in various ways. Because all the stories have to be written by somebody, that's also a good writing exercise uh, for the students as well. They can learn to interview people and then to write their stories. Like Arbuckle Road. They named that road for Samuel Howe, and Samuel Howe drank a lot of Arbuckle coffee, so his friends all called him Arbuckle. So we designed a quilt block for that site called the Arbuckle Coffee Pot, and it's four coffee pots that make a star. You can stop off at Mary Jane's Bakery in Burnsville and try a cup of Arbuckle coffee. You never know where the trail might take you. There's hardly anybody in this area that doesn't have a quilt in their life somewhere that means something to them. The fact that we are able to capture a family story and tell it through this quilt block is really quite wonderful. We just really think we have something special here to share with the rest of the world, so we encourage people to come, come see what that specialness is. You'll find it along the quilt trails of Western North Carolina. This is Derek Long for North Carolina Weekend. For more information about the quilt trails of Western North Carolina, tour guides and maps are available in the Quilt Trails gift shop at the Yancey County Chamber of Commerce in Burnsville, or go online to quilttrailswnc.org. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.